Hi everyone. In this video we will visualize what happens to a car when it comes down from a steep slope under its own weight using SolidWorks 2017 and its inbuilt motion study tools. Please note that this video is for fun purpose and is not intended for real crash simulation. So let's start. First open a new part document. We will construct a primitive car model. Select the front plane and start sketching. We are constructing a very basic car body, so we will just sketch the outline. Remember that the dimensions are not really important here. So just sketching according to a small die cast model car. Finish the sketch and extrude it by 25 mm. Now we will again select the front plane and start sketching wheels. Extruding it by 5 mm and merging it with the main body. Again using the same sketch, extrude wheels on other side as well. Just to make it look good, we will give appearances to body. Remember to give red color only to car body extrude. Next give gray color appearance to wheels. Selecting wheel extrude features and giving gray color. Now we will save the part. Naming it as car. Open a new part document now. Select the front plane and start sketching a rough track or slope dimensions. Remember the dimensions here are not important, just make it relative so that the car can roll onto it. giving some fillet for smooth henning of the track. Now extrude the sketch by 100 mm. giving green appearance to the track. Now save it. Open a new assembly file. Insert the track. Make sure that it is fixed. Now insert the car. Car here is a floating component. Just adjust the car such that its initial position is at the start of the track.
Now save the assembly file. Let go to the motion study tool. Expand the tab. Select the basic motion option so that we can use gravity and contact features. Select the gravity option and adjust it direction and value if required. Now we will add contact between the individual components. Select all components and click OK. Now we will change some setting for better visualization. Make frames per second as 150, geometric accuracy as high and 3D contact resolution as high. Now click on the calculate icon. It might take some time. We see that it is very fast, so we reduce the speed to 0.5x and total time to around 2.5 seconds. Let's check on a full window with different views. We can directly save the animation file. We will change the frames per second to 10 and aspect ratio to 4 is to 3. So here we have our output file. Further, we can play with the car body dimensions, wheel dimensions, track size etc. Next I have made three different cars on a broader track. So here are the three cars on the track. Let's play the animation and check it. Hope this video was exciting and it inspired you to make your own various types of cars and tracks for fun videos. Thank you.